Well, with the BJP in seeming disarray and many, many questions being raised around decisions taken during the tenure of the NDA government, my guest this evening is somebody who really knew the inside tracks of the NDA government, was also considered especially close to Atal Bihari Vajpayee, former National Security Advisor and Principal Secretary to the Prime Minister, Prajesh Mishra. Mr. Mishra, pleasure as always Thank to you. talk to you. I know that you've been observing, like the rest of the country, the kind of storm that is seeming to engulf the BJP. I want to start by asking you something that Jaswan Singh actually mentioned in an interview with me, wherein he said he confessed to having covered, it's a phrase he used, he said, I covered for LK Advani on Kandahar. He suggested that LK Advani knew all along that Jaswan Singh was on that plane to Kandahar. Sir, you know better than anyone else what happened during that episode. Can you set the records straight? Do we believe Jaswan Singh or do we believe L.K. Advani? Well, it's not merely a question of believing Jaswan Singh or Mr. Advani or believing me. Yes. Three members of the Cabinet Committee on Security have already said that he was present there. George Fernandez has said it, mm. Yashwan Sinha has said it, and so has Mr. Jaswan Singh. Yes. And, uh, I go by the charitable explanation of George Fernandez. Maybe Mr. Advani forgot. How do you forget such a no, thing? I'm, I'm, I'm pre pre prepared to be charitable on, on that. But, but so if the it was, fact remains that yes. he was present. So he knew not just that the terrorists were being exchanged in return for the freedom of the passengers, but he knew that Jaswan Singh was on board that plane. No, uh, look, uh, there, there must be a difference in that because we did not discuss in the Cabinet Committee on Security oh. which plane he was going to take to Kantha. Yes, yes. And apparently there was an effort made to send an, uh, another plane across to Kandahar via Pakistan because there is no other route. And they refused to. Uh, perhaps it was an Indian Air Force plane, perhaps whatever it was. So in my belief, my belief is that uh, Mr. Jaswan Singh was left with no choice. But when L.K. Advani said that he did not know, what do you make of that statement? Well, I'm sorry. I, I just cannot uh, get into his mind and say what, uh, uh, what, what, what he meant. Or what, but why uh, did no one speak out when Mr. Advani said this? Was everybody protecting him in a sense? Was the party protecting him? What, what do you think? Yeah, but Mr. George Fernandez said it immediately after that, if you remember. Yes. Uh, but I think may, maybe within 24 hours or so, 48 hours he said that. Okay. Yes, he was there, but maybe he has forgotten. So I, I don't think uh, there was silence on that issue. But do you really believe that someone who was the Home Minister, who was the Deputy Prime Minister, can forget? You're suggesting maybe he forgot? Well, I, I'm not going to get into the mind of any, any, any person. I can tell you what the facts are. But sir, there's an insinuation there that L.K. Advani could have lied to the country on Kandahar. Well, I don't, I don't know. I don't want to get into that. But you are saying the facts are clear. Facts, facts are clear. Are clear. I, I, I'm, all decisions taken by the Cabinet Committee on Security on Kandahar were unanimous decisions. And therefore known to the Home Minister of the time? No, therefore, oh, unanimous. No, no, therefore known to the five members of the Cabinet Committee on Security. Okay, I think that's very clear. Uh, some of the other questions that have come up, uh, for example, Mr. Jaswan Singh said, we, you know, I could also ask, why was the plane allowed to leave Amritsar? What was the plane doing in Amritsar for 45 minutes? When, when you look back, do you believe that this could have been handled differently then? I, I don't he th seemed to be insinuating yeah, at the role of the Home Minister. Number one, I don't think uh, uh, Mr. Jaswan Singh is uh, right in blaming Mr. Advani for that. Uh, there was a crisis group meeting in Rajiv Bhavan, mm. which is uh, where the headquarters of the Civil Aviation Ministry are there. The Cabinet Secretary was there, uh, I was there, the Raw Chief, IB Chief, and you know, various kinds of people. And we asked the uh, airport in Amritsar to find a sh sharpshooter, send him along with the Bowser, which would mm. go to refuel them, mm. and disable the tires so that the plane could not take off. This was the instruction given by, because there was no time for the uh, Air Force to suddenly get up and go. Right. I don't even know whether they have anything in Amritsar or they mm. bring mm. it from uh, some other place. Tubar.com